Hi guys, welcome to Freebirds 2 and welcome to Rag plus Slide Language Model Uses in Finance Domain Playlist Part 2. So let's get started. So if you don't yet watched my 75 hard generative learning challenge, please watch and learn Gen A for free. I will put the link in the video description as well. So now, so now what, what you can expect from this video? This video cover the full theory and the project part of this whole uh, financial news summarizer project as well. So let's get to the theory first. So you know that how news can affect the stock market and can make the market go up with the positive news and can go down with the negative news as well. So what if I tell you that you can build a Gen A based system that can tell you the sentiment of a market or a company based on the latest news uh, that is happening in the market right now. So that is another use case of Gen A in the finance domain. And, and, and you can see there are like a lot of potential uses of Gen AI and we'll cover all of them in our this playlist as well. So let's get started with the project first. Okay, so our project is now financial news summarizer that will uh, give you the sentiment about the market along with the complete analysis of all the news that it can get about a particular company or the complete whole market as well. Okay, so let me just show you the project all right guys so here is my project that we use the news api to fetch the financial news about a company and then get the analysis and sentiment based on that okay so we have our problem statement here we want to build a gen a based system that can analyze the market news about the whole stock market or the company and tell that uh, about the sentiment of that uh, uh, company or the market based on the news as well and for the project methodology we use the same methodology as our last project. We fetch the news with the help of API and then pre-process it, save into the CSV and then load that CSV into the vector DB with the help of embedding model from Hugging Face and then build our RAG QQA chain about it with the help of Falcon 7B large language model. We build our whole this complete project as well. Oh right, guys, so let's get started. So uh, if the very first thing I first build a function to fetch the news about a query from date to which date in the language and along with the page size. Okay, so here I use the news API as well. You can also use this news API. You can easily get it online as well. Okay, so first I like fetch all the things here and store it in the data frame as well. And then I will get a news about Microsoft news of June 24. Okay, the, that news I actually want. Okay, so that news and I can try to uh, pre-process it. And then I have this author and this is the news article that I have. And then store it in the CSV file as well. And then I try to build a prompt. So that, that prompt will help me to analyze or to get the desired response that I can get. So that is my prompt and I can... Uh, fit all my this news in this prompt as well okay so that will show you that how my prompt will look like with all this kind of news in this prompt as well okay then i just uh, load our uh, falcon 7 billion large language model here and try to invoke it on these all the news so it first show me that what kind of news that it has and based on all these news about which mentioned about the microsoft as per the news api it just gave us our analysis as well. So here is the complete analysis about it. And it just tells that, that uh, what Microsoft is doing and how that thing is good for the Microsoft as well from its share price and market price as well. So all that things are there. Okay. And uh, if you can try to change this kind of a uh, large language model from Falcon to Meta, LLAMA or like a uh, chat GPT, uh, OpenAI models as well. So these are responses can change drastically and give you the more in-depth analysis about these uh, news articles as well okay guys so i hope you completely understand that how i build uh, this kind of a small project from this basic idea about uh, getting to know about the market sentiment by building a rag based system about the news articles so you can use this uh, uh, project and try to fetch all the news on the weekly basis or the daily basis uh, and like try to put all the in information into the uh, vector db as well and then try to build out the uh, project out of it based on the uh, large language model that you are 
using okay so in our next uh project we'll build a financial uh investment advisor that will use the financial data from the kegel as well and then it will give us the financial advices based on its data and it is trained on as well without any kind of fine tuning we build a complete rag based system here as well okay guys so we'll meet in our next video and if you want to know about prompt engineering generative ai and machine learning you can watch my videos on youtube and also follow me on medium we'll meet in our next video thank you guys thank you so much